Hi, in this video I want to talk to you about the rulers, grids, and guides. And you can see here I'm back on the first page of my document. And you can see my rulers up here at the top and over here to the left. And by default those are going to be on, but if you wish to turn them off for some reason you can go to the view menu and just uncheck rulers there and they'll disappear. And I, obviously I can toggle them back on just like that. Now one reason why you're going to want to leave your rulers on is because that's where you go ahead and get your guides from. And guides will help you line different elements up on your page. For example, let's say I wanted the top and the left of this um, image here to intersect 100 pixels over and 100 pixels down. I can go ahead and point right up here in the ruler and you can see my arrow changes from black to white and I can press and hold and drag down and you're going to see that green guide appear there. Now you're also going to notice if you look in the vertical ruler to the left that there's a little tick mark moving as I drag the guide different places. And when I'm right on the hundred mark you can see it there. Again we're looking in the left hand ruler and when I'm right at 100 pixels, it's going to go ahead and make that white just like that. And then I can go ahead and release, and I can do the same thing to drag a vertical ruler out from the left hand um, ruler. And again, if you're looking at the top, you can see that tick mark move in the top ruler. And there I am at 100 pixels over, and I can now go ahead and move my image so it lines up exactly in that place and you can kind of see how it snaps into position there for me. If I come here to the um, view menu, I've got some options here for guides and one of them is show guides. So I can place as many guides on the screen as I want, but when I actually want to see the image without the guides, I can just uncheck that and now I can look at the image. You can also choose whether or not objects, I'm going to turn the guides back on there, you can also choose whether or not the objects snap into the guides. If I uncheck that right there, you can see as I start to move towards that, it doesn't sort of snap into position for me. But if I turn this back on, snap to guides, and drag that up, it sort of snaps into place. You can also use the arrow keys to move different elements around on the page. Um, that may be a little bit um, easier as far as positioning things um, exactly. If I click on that object there and I use the arrow keys, you can see how I move down. Or if I use the right arrow key, it moves me over. If I hold down the shift key and press these arrows, it actually moves me over at a larger increment or down or up. So the arrow keys with the shift modifier might help you. And I'm just going to go ahead and snap that back into place right there. If I come back to the view menu and we go to guides, we also can clear all the guides or lock them in place. If I want to move this guide, all I've got to do is point at it and drag. But if I lock the guides, Now you can see when I point at that guide, it won't let me grab a hold of it. I think it's always a good idea to uh, lock your guides if you're using them. They're just too easy to move. And there is a keyboard shortcut for that. It's Control plus Alt and the semicolon key. So that will lock and unlock your guides. And finally, clear guides will just clear the guides out for you. And it should go without saying, but I'll go ahead and do it. I can put as many guides as I want onto a page. Whoops, there we go. So there's a whole bunch of guides there. And whenever I want to clear them out, just go to View, Guides, and Clear Guides, just like that. One final visual tool that Fireworks gives you to position elements is the grid. And if I go to the View menu and select Grid, and then Show Grid, you'll see that a grid appears on the page. And if you want to see how that um, grid is laid out, you can go to the View menu, Grid, and I'm going to say Edit Grid here, and you can choose the color of the grid as well as the number of pixels horizontally and vertically. So if I wanted to make this a 50 pixel grid, I could just type 50 in there, 
and then click OK and now you can see from the ruler the way that's going to work for me there and I can always still use guides if I want to and whenever I want to turn that grid off I can go ahead and just uncheck show grid and there was also an option there to snap items to the grid as well